Hello everyone, welcome to App Unbox. Today we are going to explore the Zencal which is used to schedule meetings online. And if you think your meetings are valuable, you might be able to sell them too. So let's get started with the platform. So first we are going to open our web browser and type down Zencal. After that we are going to go to Zencal's uh, website. As you can see Zencal scheduling for paid meetings and teams. Alright, so we have Zencal here. We're going to log in to our account. If you don't have an account, sign up. As you can see, we are now in our account and we have our profile ready. We here is the calendar and here are the meetings tab. As you can see, I already have two meetings set here. You can create your meeting topic, like whatever your expertise is. Like let's say meeting topic will be business consultant. Business consultant. And well, visible on page, active, you can collect reviews and you can require email confirmation, but that will just reduce the availability for your meeting. So I'll not take that. Then we have calendar settings. You can just set calendar event name here, participant and topic, well, whatever. And then we have place and schedule for availability. Well, we can select default here. And then you can select the duration of your meeting. The maximum duration is 60 minutes. So. Well, business consultant takes time so we are going to select 60 minutes here or you can just select custom duration well i didn't see this thing here as you can see we have 80 but no 60 minutes will be enough so then we are going to choose the meeting a google meet phone call or offline so we have selected google meet and then we are going to enter our description so let's say i am here to consult your business and then I'm going to save the meeting here. As you can see, this meeting has been saved. Now I'm going to go to meetings and find out if it has been saved or not. As you can see, business consultant meeting has been saved. And I'm going to delete the rest of these or uh, whatever is here. Now I'm going to create another meeting topic. Now let's go ahead and select here. Let's say if someone wants to get a mental peace. I'm going to talk about it, listen to their problem and give them mental peace and by listening to their problem we're going to select participant and meeting topic again and then we are going to schedule meeting default settings but this duration will be less so we're going to select 45 minutes this time and we choose meeting place of course the google meet and then we are going to go here i am here to listen to your problem and give you feedbacks all right so we're gonna save this meeting too as you can see meeting has been created so i had some mistakes let grammarly fix it and then we're gonna save it all right so now we're gonna go to meetings mental peace as you can see these both meetings have been created you can create your meetings like this i mean people will be able to select your scheduled meetings uh, from the Zencal application but we'll get to that later so now we're going to go to profile page and see what our profile is ready for as you can see you can change your cover photo you can change your profile picture here and you can set your name and you can set your name here you can set your alias here and you can set your tagline here whatever your expertise is go and go ahead and put all the tags in here and then we have some description after that we have button cta label and button cta link and then what is your favorite color well favorite color does matter in these cases i guess then we have linked your social media you can uh, place link to all your social media then have you can just prepare your entire profile from this page as you can see now let's go to availability as you can see we have schedules here you can create a schedule let's see what happens if we create a schedule well i'm gonna just tap down test here then we're gonna select time zone new york all right, so we're going to select Monday from 9 to 17. All right, single availability. You can select size cylindrical, but I'm going to select single availability. Just one date, okay? Now I want to add break between your meetings. If you want to add break in between your meetings, then you can select this. So it's normal. It's okay to have 10 minutes breaks before in between your meetings because sometimes they take time. So you can just uh, take whatever break you need, five minute, uh, uh, custom, one minute, 45 minutes, whatever. So I'm going to select 10 minutes and then meetings can be scheduled no sooner than before the meeting. Okay, meeting can be scheduled no sooner 
uh, 10 minutes before the meeting. So if uh, someone arrives 10 minutes earlier the meeting, then it will not start. So, okay, we have 10 minutes extra for our meeting. Meeting can be scheduled up to. All right, uh, how many weeks in it fast? Well, I'm not gonna select week, I'm gonna select one month in it fast, okay? And how many maximum meetings can you handle per day? Okay, I can handle maximum four meetings per day, so I'm gonna hit four here. Then we're gonna select save. The calendar has been created. Okay, so calendar has been created for our Monday, as you can see. Well, well not Monday, I guess. Single availability. Oh, I have to add date for our single availability, I guess, so. Let's go ahead and select the date. Uh, I'm gonna select nine. And then, all right, I can't scroll to the, uh, well, I guess I can't side scroll and uh, go to the date, which is bug of the ZenCal application that, as you can see, let's zoom out this page and see if I can reach that. All right, so I guess I can't access this side. I don't know how to do that because of these web applications seems to be in beta position and that's why they haven't fixed these problems yet. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select 8 here and avoid these errors, okay? No date selected. Save as new. So we have connected calendars here. You can connect your Google Calendar, your Outlook Calendar, and most importantly, your iCloud Calendar can also be added here without any problem. So we have automations here. You can set automations for your meetings. As you can see, we have integration here, but you'll have to become ZenCal Pro for that, and you'll have to buy their premium membership for that. You can have webhooks for your meeting confirmed, meeting postponed, meeting canceled, or meeting started. You can just create automated webhooks for all of these tasks, and you can just save it for the convenience of your meetings. So we have settings and account here. Name, alias, and phone number, password, all these are here. And then if someone wants to schedule a meeting for you, then they'll have to go to your profile. As you can see, this is the profile here. And we have both of these meetings ready. When someone visits your profile, they will see that two meetings are available in your profile. Then they will go ahead and create on schedule a meeting like this. And after that, they will need to go ahead and select from dates. As you can see, I have Friday and Saturday as my weekend so you can also change your weekend to Wednesday, Thursday or whatever it is. I just enjoy Friday and Saturday as my weekend so if someone wants to schedule a meeting with me they'll have to be selecting from any of these times. My active time is from 9 to 17 so they'll have to select between these times so let me go ahead and select one for uh, 10 July 11 and then we have one meeting. You can select your full name. Uh, and then you have to select your email address then you can select your phone number if you want and then you can leave a note so i'm just gonna leave a note test here and then we are going to confirm the meeting as you can see the meeting has been confirmed and you can just add it to your google calendar from here or your apple calendar whatever you need all right so as you can see business consultant your meeting is here automatically created okay you have uh, 30 minutes of notification and then you go ahead and click on save and the meeting will be set here as you can see where is 10 july okay one two three four here is 10 july as you can see business consultant meeting has been set here so we're gonna go ahead to zencal application we have calendar here well go ahead to profile page again we will and then we have we're gonna select mental piece this time okay so let's go ahead and jump to 10 July because we have already selected a meeting on 10 July. So let's see how they are handling that place. As you can see, we have 9, 9, 9, 9 and directly to 12. So 10, 30 and 11, 15 is missing on day 10 because I already have scheduled a meeting on that time. So that's why that time is not available because that time is already booked for another meeting. That's why you can't select a meeting on that time. So we have other times available and we're just gonna select a random time for our meeting and then select your name, select your email and then leave a note again, test two. And then you're gonna have to confirm the meeting. And thus the meeting will be confirmed again and it will be added to calendar entries for GenCal, but you can also add the calendar entry of Google Calendar. But since I've already shown that, I'm not going through that again. So. As you can see, we can go to the calendar here and we're going to refresh this page. And July. As you can see, we have, uh, well, three meetings on 
July 9 and at July 10 we have 10 meetings but well as you can see we don't have three meetings on July 10 we have two meetings that's from GenCal and one from Google Calendar because we have saved the meeting on Google Calendar it has been synchronized to this calendar too so you can also synchronize your calendar and manage your busy schedule from here too so guys, as you can see, you can schedule your meetings from ZenCal and by becoming a pro user of ZenCal, you can also sell your meetings if you think your meetings are valuable and you should be getting paid for it. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like these. Until we meet again next time, goodbye and stay safe.